hello guys welcome to wix ideas in this video i'm going to show you how to add a load more pagination interaction into your website so i currently have six items showing at a time on my website and this is my repeater and i'm going to show you how to show it or determine the number of items i can show at a time and i have a load more button here that is going to load more items when i click on it now when i click on this you can see that there was a kind of a, a preloader that shows up before it actually loads more items when i click on this again you can see there is a text that shows more coming soon now this is showing up because we have checked our database to see if the total number of all the items we have is equal to the total number being displayed then we want to show a text on our load more button and we also want to disable the button so as you can see i cannot click more on this so i'm going to show you how to add this easy interaction and if you're excited to join me in this tutorial please do well to smash the subscribe button if you haven't done so and also give this video a like now let's jump right back into our editor all right so here in the editor the first thing i want to show you is how to determine how many items can display at a time as you can see i currently have six items so you're going to go to your data set element go to the settings and here you can see the number of items to display so you can display as many items as you want but the ideal is 12 so that it doesn't slow down your website when you have too many items to load when the page start loading so mine is set of six and i have only 15 items in my database so i'm using only six so i can show you how this functionality actually works now the next thing to add is a button element that allows us to load more so i'm going to go over to add i'm going to go to button and i'm going to click or select any button element that i want i'm going to go with this one so i'm going to go ahead and design this the way i want it to look all right so this is how i want my button to look and i want to go ahead and change what the label or the text says so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to type in load more now you can go ahead and add emojis if you want for windows you can click on the windows and then dot and you can get all the emojis that you can actually use so i'm going to click on the down arrow something like that that's going to allow you to know that you have to click on to load more items and that looks about fine now let's go ahead and drag this and stretch this out a little bit since we're going to be making use of a new text later on and now we're about to add a preloader element that gives us the idea that we're actually loading an item so let's go to add and here we're going to go to embed code i'm going to go to the animation and we're going to find loti and here we're going to click on the add to site now this is an animation that is is a new feature that allows you to add many animations into your Wix website so i'm going to go to a website called loti files and here you can find a bunch of loti animations that you can make use of so let's go over to the loti address and here you can see that there are many animations for preloader which i have already searched there are many of them that you can make use of but for this tutorial i'm going to go ahead and click on this one and i'm going to go over to the loti animation url and copy this url now you need to have an account to be able to see that feature and let's go back to our website and here i'm going to go to change animation and here under the words the animation url i'm going to go ahead and replace that url now once i'm done with that i'm going to go ahead and resize this to match the button element that i have so i'm going to make it just in between the button element in all sides now once you're done you can see how that is moving and we want to make sure that this loti element is hidden when the page loads because we only want to show it when we click on the button so to show this when the page loads let's go to dev mode i'm going to turn this on now once we turn this on make sure that your selected uh, loti file is selected and you're going to go over to the default values and make it hidden on load and most importantly i want to change the id to say preloader awesome so this is all set and i also want to change the button id to say load more button so let me go back to the properties panel over here and say load more button now this is looking great and then we're going to head into the code and here i'm going to get rid of these sections that i do not need and also this section and i'm going to write a piece of code that allows me to click that when i click on the load more button what do i want to happen afterwards so let's go over to in between of our already function i'm going to add an unclick function to my load more button so that is my load more button over there and i'm going to go ahead and add an unclick event 
that allows me to determine what happens when I click on the load more button. So let's go ahead and make sure our code is looking nice. So what I want to happen when I click on the load more button is I want to change the label of my load more button and I also want to show the loading file. Now let's go ahead and click on this item here. I want to change what this says and make it say nothing. Okay, so let's go back to our code and here I'm just going to copy this ID. This is the ID of the load more button, paste it over here. And I want to change the label to say nothing. So this is how you make it say nothing. And then next, I want to show the loti file. So let's go ahead and enter in the ID for our loti file. I have used that to say preloader. The ID says preloader for the loti file. And I want to show the loti file. Awesome. So let's test this out. Let's see how that works and see if it is actually doing what we want it to do. Now it's not going to preload those items. It's only going to hide what it says and then show the loading file. So you can see this is a nice interaction and you can completely use any animation that you want. Now let's head back into our code and make this fully functional. Now to make this fully functional, we want to add a condition that checks if the total number of content we have in our database is equal to the total number of content or data that has been displayed in our repeater. So I'm going to add a condition that says if the total number of from our database, so I'm going to use the dataset ID to check out the total number of items I have. As you can see, there is an ID for my dataset and that is dataset1 and I'm going to use the get total count function to get a total number of items in my database if it is not equals to the data we have on our repeater so here i'm going to get the id of my repeater and here the id is i think repeater 9 yes that is correct so copy the id there and paste it over here now i'm going to get the data dot length then i'm going to have a condition that is going to run so if it is not equal to I want to use the data set load more so i'm going to go over here and copy the id of my data set and here i'm going to use the data set load more function to load more items now after it has loaded my items i want to hide the preloader and change the label of my load more button so i'm going to use the dot then method and here i'm going to be able to allow those features to work out after the items have loaded so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this section i just want to undo what i did here inside of this i'm going to go here and change what is being said to what i actually initially added here so i'm going to go ahead and copy this uh, content and i'm going to place it right here and then i'm going to go ahead and hide the loti file now this is a condition that is going to meet what we're trying to do so if the total number of content in our database is not equal to what is being displayed we have to load more but if the total number of items in our database is exactly equal to what is being displayed we're going to use the else condition to see what we want to happen so in this case we're going to go ahead and again copy this section i'm going to paste it right here and i'm going to change this what this says so i'm going to change this to something uh this is up to you i'm going to say uh oh something like that is just fine and again i want to keep the preloader hidden and i also want to disable the load more button so let me go ahead here and disable the load more button so this is going to disable that and that is all we have for this tutorial so let's make sure that we end uh this code properly and this is all the code you need so let's go ahead and preview this section and see how that actually looks like and when i click on this you can see that that preloader showed up before the items were actually loaded and once they loaded it's going to bring you back to what the label of the button says and the preloader is hidden let's go ahead again and click on load more you can see it showed up and then we have more items when we click on this again you can see it says it says uh oh so you can go ahead and add maybe a text or a an emoji or an animation or something elsewhere maybe below the button or whatever you want or think is the best thing to do in this situation you can go ahead and do it right here so this is how you add uh, interactions to your load more buttons and I hope this tutorial was very helpful. If it was really helpful, please do let me know how you made use of this. You can also send me a URL of your website on how you use this feature. So thank you very much. I hope you don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial.